Hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to do like a slightly different video um, because I'm always getting asked like, you know, does it, does planning have to be expensive? Um, you know, like you seem to buy and tip a lot of things into your planner or um, yeah, like, d you know, is it an expensive hobby, I guess. Um, so I like I never want to enable people to um I know we all joke around saying you know enabler or whatever but I don't ever want to you know make people feel like they have to buy stuff or buy the same stuff that I have or even that you know they've got to spend loads of money in making their planners look um you know lived in beautiful pretty um chunky so I kind of put my like <laughs> thinking hat on and went through some of my old strategies um, to look through how, you know, like what are some of the different ways that you could make your planner look different and unique um, without spending loads of money. So I have got like some pages tabbed here, bookmarked to show you guys um, examples of what I mean. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So I did put together a list of, I would say, what I call essentials, but they are essentials for me. Sorry, I'm just trying to flip to my notes page. Um, so they are essentials for me. Obviously, they, you know, you don't have to buy these things, but they are relatively cheap in that, um, and but they can make a huge difference in your planner. So the first thing I would say is like um, clear acetate and vellum. So the first thing, um, like first kind of essential item, I would say are two things. I would say like if you can, if you can and are able to buy a packet of printable acetate so this is five sheets and i buy mine from amazon i have tried various brands and i don't really find any difference between the brands to be honest just make sure that you're buying like um for your printer so some of them are only suitable for inkjet printers like this one some of them are only suitable for laser printers so as long as you know you're kind of making sure that it's suitable and compatible with your printer pretty much any brand i mean that i've tried and i've tried several they all print fine they work fine for all the other crafts um and you know projects that i will um kind of talk through so yeah acetate and i will show you some of the various things that i use this for other than obviously just printing um and the other thing is vellum so this is like no brand name vellum obviously for those of you who don't know acetate is like completely clear uh, vellum is slightly more frosted less transparent looking but still not you know it's still kind of transparent so it has but it has like more of a frosty look so a pack of this like I think this this came as a pack of I want to say 40 or 50 because it was like huge like the pack and it was a few quid on eBay again I've not really had much trouble buying any kind of brand and using it to print on um but if you're obviously if you're in doubt you're not sure about your printer or things like that then just um buy like one or two sheets to sample them or buy the smallest pack possible to work with that try it out try different things um and then see whether that's you know works for you i will leave the name of my printer down below um so you guys know yeah um, so yeah, I would say these two, if you have like, you know, a, a few sheets of acetate and a few sheets of vellum, you can do so much in your planner. Um, obviously, that's kind of, um, I will show you things that you can do with a printer, but also if you don't have a printer, there's still things that you can do with this paper. Um, the next I would say is... Um, have a few washi tapes if you can like i'm not going to go through all of them but this front row here they're all from aliexpress and they are very very cheap like this came as a set and this came as a set and the sets are like no more than like a pound 50 or something like that you could buy washi tape for like 20p washi tape for 50p so aliexpress i'll leave a link below very very cheap if you can pick up maybe a couple of pieces of washi tape 
um, a couple of rolls of washi tape. Um, or there are shops on Etsy that obviously sell samples of washi. Um, I would say watercolour paints. So I do have quite a few different ones, but, you know, this is like probably the cheapest one. And it's, it is quite chalky, but it's like a fiver and it works well in my Stylogy. I, you know, I will show you, I have used these paints and you get such nice um variation of colors this one is like the kind of shimmery one also this was like six or seven pounds um i think these ones were slightly more because they are like windsor and newton um but if you don't have you know it's a bit dusty um if you really don't have you know kind of um, extra money that you want to invest in watercolors what you can do and i have shown this before um is basically get like some kind of cup or a jar and put water in it warm water works well but even cold is fine and whenever you have like old marker pens that don't work like your kids coloring pens or like old brush letter pens where the um you know the nib has kind of frayed but there's still color in there and what you do is you just immerse the nib into the water so i would do like all my yellows in this i would do you know all my blues in one and you can mix and match so you could have like crayola tom but like basically um, organize them by color and just leave them to soak for a few days and you will see that the color starts to drain into the water and then you can use that as watercolors um obviously you know if you want it more darker more pigmented use less water and they're not going to be you know they're not going to be as dark as watercolor paints but still it's going to have enough pigmentation in the water that you can actually you know use the colors in your planner um and it's free you're you know just using what you have in the house and i do that with my kids all the time um i say to them when your colors start to run out don't put them in the bin we have like a box where they put them in and then they you know have once a month or once every few months they make their own watercolor paints um if you can pick up some of these brush pens you know like i've got the um tombow brush pen set that i was gifted like a few years ago um but they are quite expensive so i have also picked these ones up for my kids to use these are like from a local shop called wh smith and they were like i think they were like a fiver for a set also very very nice they did fray a lot quicker than the tombow ones do but you know perfect for you know um the price basically um so yeah just i would say like maybe if you pick up like two or three colors that you know you are your favorite colors they can go a really long way in your planner um and the very last thing i would say for me is an essential but i you know i'm just throwing out all the ideas and then you guys can obviously pick and choose what you think you would like to invest in and or not um for me sticky notes like i love 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 sticky notes um uh, i keep all my sticky notes and that kind of i think always ends up looking you know really nice like the page you know when you've got a page just full of um sticky notes adds kind of layers and textures um and just a certain level of uniqueness to your planner like that when you just have a page full of sticky notes on them so i have bought a lot of sticky notes over the years from aliexpress so i'll just show you so like they do some of these ones they're again they're like 50 or 60p uh some of these floral ones i think these were even cheaper and sometimes you can buy them as a set i think this was like 18p at the time that i bought it um so again like so many different colors sizes patterns shapes like look at these feathers i've got tons of these different colored feathered ones um this one as well so definitely look on aliexpress for sticky notes um just search for like sticky notes or post-it notes or 
um, you know, if you're looking for something in specific, you can look um, something more specific. You can type in like galaxy sticky notes or moon sticky notes, uh, floral sticky notes, stuff like that. Um, otherwise, what I did as what I did as well is I bought this. Um, I bought like a set of like eight pack of white sticky notes from I think they're from eBay. Um, but they're just like normal size sticky notes and I print my own sticky notes. So I have done a video on how I print sticky notes. So I'm not going to go into detail on that. But I just want to show you some of the things you can do, you know, quite easily. All you need is white sticky notes and a printer. You don't need any, you know, like you can download like templates. So I think like this is a free template from Peanuts Planner Co., um this one as well i think from brunella by so you can have some you know templates and then just print your own otherwise you can just print images on them um i do use silhouette studio which is a free software to use to just design my own sticky notes so like all these floral ones i buy the patterns or you know you can use google images or whatever i guess but um i do buy my own patterns um and then make my own sticky notes so again like i said i have um done a video on how to print your own sticky notes so i'll leave the link for that below if you are interested um and then you can create you know your own like trackers and things like that so again these are from um peanuts planner co i just you know printed them on my own so that's what I would say like for me are planner essentials um so now let's move on to freebies so we do live in a very like you know generous kind um community where there's always some kind of freebie on Facebook groups or Instagram um you know people who have shops have freebies people who don't have shops also have freebies so just kind of join some Facebook groups um so here's an example of a freebie from um, Boho Berry. You have to be signed up to her um, email group and then she sends you a passcode and she will give you access to like all her digital freebies. So I love this. I used this in 2019 and 2020. Um, and I just printed that on acetate. So obviously you could print it on paper, but I love the way that looks layered underneath this vellum that I did buy from Happy Scrappy. Um, so yeah, that's an example of printing your own acetate. You could obviously print on vellum as well if you wanted to. Um, and then I always use like a monthly calendar. So this monthly calendar here is from Hello Petite Paper, but so many, so many shops offer, you know, freebie calendars, freebie digitals, freebie stickers, um, freebie lettering stuff. Honestly, there is, I would say like an overwhelming amount of freebies out there. You just have to, yeah, join lots of Facebook groups and things like that. Um, Obviously, you can use like Google Images and Pinterest. It's just hard to know like whether you you have the rights to use that art or not. Um, it's a you know bit of a controversial thing. Some people say you can if it's for personal use. Other people say you should always ask the permission of the artist. So I tend to err on the side of caution, but obviously that is an option. You know, Google Images, Pinterest. Um, so yeah, look always look out for freebies because there are always freebies in the groups um the second thing i would say like to add is add you know like little notes from your kids or um drawings you know sometimes they'll do like a drawing and i'll like stick it in and that's you know it's a very personal thing and it's just really nice like i would say this is one of the nicest things for me to look back on when i'm looking at my through my planner all the little bits that you know i've added in here from my children um and that's obviously it doesn't cost you anything you know um yeah so that's another thing you can obviously use um magazines um to you know you could cut out like art 
clippings or I've even seen like some people cut out magazine like clippings and use them as stickers so if you subscribe to different types of magazines you can cut out individual images or you can cut out a whole page and use that as like a background um so yeah like there's there's just so much like if you I think google like scrapbooking on youtube i think you'll come up with lots of ideas um the other thing i use um so i've got these all numbered so i know where to <laughs> flip to um i always keep the happy mail packaging that i get so where is it now anything that i get like in happy mail from people i keep a page for it where i add like um you know labels from their shop or labels from the washi tape any stickers that they put on the envelope um any washi that came on the envelope sometimes if they've got their shop name in you know like foiled um kind of writing i'll cut that out and put it in there um, and then it ends up looking, you know, like this, which is a really nice kind of decorative page. But it's also a, a reminder of all the kind of nice, happy, pretty, you know, pretty happy mail that you've received um, through that year or that month or whatever. So I would say, yeah, definitely don't throw out, you know, happy mail <laughs> packaging. I think most of us do this anyway um but yeah just make sure you're picking off all the washi or even if you can't tear it off you could cut around the sticker and then like glue it on um i think that's what i did here and here maybe i think i couldn't peel that off the envelope um i would say keep the envelope if it's nice and different colored you could use it for like pockets and pouches and things to stick on um even junk mail envelopes you'll be surprised you know how much you can reuse things um so the other thing i would say is um scrap paper so let me see if i can give you an example of what i'm talking about okay so here this paper is the paper that's on the back of the clear acetate so when you have when you buy acetate it always comes like there's a piece of paper that comes under the acetate so that the acetate doesn't stick to each other and i think it's also meant to help feed it better into the printer so that's what this paper is and i know most people will just throw that paper away because you think well you don't need it but that paper is very very thin it takes to watercolor really really well and it prints on beautifully as you can see here and it's got like that kind of crinkly noise because it's really thin um so anything you think is junk paper don't throw it keep it like just keep a stash of it somewhere and then when you're trying you know to print different things or water trying out watercolor things always try it on these different types of papers you just never know the effect you get like um i'm sure you've all seen this um this in my new like this stylogy current stylogy I watercolored this is the exact same paper I watercolored it put some shimmery watercolors on it and then I printed on it and it's one of my favorite things in this stylogy it's so pretty and yeah I, I love it so don't throw away anything <laughs> that's my kind of rule keep everything um, you just never know when you'll be able to use something um the next freebie idea i would say is don't throw away again gift wrapping paper so this is wrapping paper now this was from a gift that my daughter received and i just kept some of it because i knew it was just so pretty and i wanted to add it into my planner and look how beautiful that looks layered on top and i didn't have to spend any money buying that um, and i've just glued that onto the page you could leave it like you could just tip it in like that if you wanted this one was rather thin and i was a bit worried that it would start you know curling and things like that so i just slapped some glue on there and put that on there 
So that, yeah, like keep gift wrapping paper. Even if you're not able to get a full sheet out of it, keep some of it because then you could layer it on top of different things, you know? Um, again, I think there, I have another one somewhere as well. This, this was actually a gift bag. So this is paper from a gift bag, but I just thought it was so like the colors and it's foiled and i just thought i'm not gonna throw that in the bin like i'm gonna keep that and it looks beautiful on its own but then i've layered it with this um acetate with this vinyl on it and look at that so this i did purchase but this is a freebie and really you could put vinyl sticker directly on it you could put a photo of your kids or family or pets or anything on there you could leave it as it is you could put a quote on there just so much that you could do and this is something that you know it was just a gift bag that i could have reused but i thought no actually i'm gonna cut it up and stick it in my planner um, the other freebie thing that I get complimented on so much is this paper here. Um, so this is like a plasticky sheet of paper. Um, if you've seen my flips previously, you'll have seen this loads of times. This was just some wrapping paper around some flowers that my husband bought me. And I was about to throw it out and then I looked closely and I thought, oh gosh, that's, you know, a really nice pattern. So you can see like here, it's creased, you know, um, and the creases are not, I mean, on this one, it's not so bad. They seem to have ironed themselves out. On this one, you can still see the creases, but I just don't care. Like it looks stunning. Like it looks, you know, like something I would pay for. And it's amazing to think that, yeah, this is just some wrapping paper that was around some flowers. So just keep an eye out, like look at things that you're receiving as gifts or that you otherwise would just throw away, whether it's, yeah, <laughs> um, whether it is things like um, gift cards, even sometimes I would say like food packaging has, you know, some really beautiful um patterns designs die cuts that you could cut out from there you could use um like i said envelopes you know when you go to the um like a diy shop and they have like paint chip samples you could use those as like decoration or bookmarks dashboards um wallpaper samples i don't know if you guys like in america get free wallpaper sample but if you if you're in the uk you can go to b&q and they will let you take well as much as you want of any wallpaper and you could use that in the same way that I have used um this you could just stick in some wallpaper in your planner so always look out for you know yeah free stuff that looks like junk that you would normally throw away um even like takeaway menus because they are like nice and thick and glossy so like this is just you know um when i bought my um pencil board from lauren phelps designs this is the card that came in it now i could just throw this away or i could use it as scrap paper or what i've done is i've just added it to my pile and i'm going to measure this out to be six size and i can washi this like put um like i've done here i could make a washi board out of it um i could watercolor on this and I could print on it there's just so much that I could do with this and I can either stick it in or tip it in I could wash you the back of it so whatever you think is junk keep it keep it keep it keep it um, and try and incorporate different ways to use it in your planner um okay let me go back to my list <laughs> um okay we did recycling gift wrapping paper and um bags um number six okay oh that's number five. Oh, here's another piece of um wrapping paper so this one i did actually purchase the roll because i was just i loved 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 the colors and um yeah so i actually just bought this for the purpose of using in my planner <laughs> um okay so this is I think this was like a back of a card this green paper here so it was a um 
birthday card I want to say or uh, I don't know some kind of card and I just you know cut it up and I think it even had some handwriting like some lettering or writing or pictures underneath here and that's why I've layered it with different stuff um so yeah even if it looks like well I can't use it because it's got writing on it it's got something on it layer stuff up cover it up um put stickers on it put washi on it I've just put this watercolor like um card thing with some wax seals so a lady on instagram really kindly sent me some wax seals um as happy mail and i wanted to put them in my planner i'm pretty sure this one she had just used on the envelope so it wasn't even you know part of her happy mail um but i kind of peeled it off and just stuck it in there um so yeah just use like gift cards birthday cards whatever you know tip things in tip things tip tip in all the things um you could even do like pressed flowers so i've never done this but i have seen like people um you know yeah pressed using pressed flowers in their planners um the other thing is we you know we all order happy mail um or we i don't know I think like everybody somehow or other has access to these clear kind of plastic bags that we get. They come in like different sizes. Use these. I hate wasting plastic. Um, I hate plastic, but I hate wasting plastic. So I always keep all these different bags. Um, for these larger ones, what I do is I just cut them down to size. And then you've got the equivalent of acetate. You know, it's free. It's much more thinner than acetate. Um, and you can cover it like I've done here. You can cover it in stickers. Like these are stickers that I generally wouldn't use, I would say, in a planner. So they're more like decorative stickers. So you could put stickers on this and then tip this into your planner. You could do like what I did here. Um, I think this is from a bag, actually. I just put like blobs of glue and then put my like daughter's glitter over it and it was kind of coming off so what i did is i put this piece of paper in between like um sheet of white paper and i ran it through the laminator and the laminator kind of helped seal the glue um the glitter to the glue but you know this is just using stuff that i have already in the house i have plastic bag i have glitter i have glue um, and I did deliberately leave the side clear because I want to put like a quote on it or something. Um, and then I will tip this in to my planner. But look at that. Like, I just love the way this turned out. And it's just using things I have at, at home. So use these bags. Um, these ones you could even use as like a top loading pocket. So you could tip this in. Um, you know, you, you might have to cut it down to size and maybe just like seal off the edges using clear tape. Um, I would do it on this side, like seal that off. You could use it as a top loading pocket. You could put photos in there. You could put stickers in there. You could even decorate the front cover with, you know, let's say like that and then use it as a top loading pocket. Or you could just use it as a top loading pocket and that way you can change out the decoration. So I think I even have one of them. Oh yeah. So I used some of that paper that I got from my um, flowers to make a top loading pocket. And oops, it's not coming out now. But I've just put like a picture of my daughter in there. And I love that. Like it just, to me, that's just so beautiful unique it's not something that i'm going to see in anybody else's planner um yeah and it's using things that are free and available so keep all plastic paper bags plastic bags any kind of stuff like that that you think somehow can be reused um in your planner um okay I think that's all the blue ones. Um, what's this here? So the blue section was like all the freebies. Um, oh yeah, okay. So this here as well is wrapping paper. This is like the very, very thin like paper wrapping paper that you get. Like you need to wrap up like if you're giving something that's a breakable. Um, so I think I received a mug 
wrapped in this paper and it's got like that multicolor foil on it so I kept it again I couldn't salvage like the whole sheet although I do think I've got some more of it somewhere but I just cut out some of it layered it on top of something else um, and then put a few die cuts and made myself a beautiful dashboard so yeah just reuse everything um okay so that's kind of like yeah the majority of free freebie stuff um the next thing is like more the creative aspect where you might still be able to use free stuff or you might have to you know maybe spend a little bit of money so one thing i love to do is i love to add postcards to my planner so i do have like sometimes i wait until the month is over and then tip it in so that it's not coming you know in the way i'm not having to like um you know write on the other side of the page where it's coming in the way um so here's one from bergamo when i went to italy um last year i didn't even put anything on the back of it sometimes i might write a little note or a list of like places we visited sometimes like, um sometimes i might put a picture on the back um but i just you know i i just like that it adds bulk to my planner it's a beautiful like decorative piece and it's memory keeping um again this is a postcard i picked up while i was on a road trip to ireland with my husband and it was i think it was like a pound less than a pound it was really cheap and yeah it's it's it is it's a postcard and i always you know want to kind of yeah remember my trips and i think this is a really beautiful way of doing that so it's not completely free but relatively inexpensive and can add so here's another one from the taj mahal as well there's a picture on the back so it can just add like a whole different dimension to your planner so tip in you know photos postcards um, I don't tip in, typically I don't add lots of pictures to my um, planner because, yeah, I just prefer to have them in my chapbooks. But, um, yeah, here's a postcard I got from um, the style planner and I just put it on back of, on top of some of this like star acetate. Um, so, yeah, tip in photos, postcards, etc um then oops what's that if you are buying washi make like a washi sample page so like this is some simply gilded washi that i um bought or received in happy mail i can't remember now and i just took a page to sample them all out so not only do you get a nice look at what the washi actually looks out once it's rolled out a little bit um, and it's memory keeping so I know that oh this you know washi arrived around somewhere around this week in March um, it creates a really beautiful page to look at um, and you know you're buying the washi anyway so it's not like it's an any additional cost to do that again you could do it on one of these whether it's just um you're doing it as a pocket or just as a piece of acetate. Uh, you could do it on vellum, have it overlapping on the picture. Um, yeah, sample out washi. Um, you know, you could even do like a full page like I've got here, a full page in here if you wanted to on the acetate, on the vellum, on the page itself. Um, again, like I said, you could do it on like a takeaway menu because they're very very glossy and um yeah or a piece of card scrap paper or anything like that you could also um you know tip in like i think i've got this this came from the lit uh, little rainbow moon her monthly kit this this month but these are just some old pages from like i don't know some kind of book um so you could use these in your planner as well if you've got like old books um actually this probably should have gone in the freebie section but anyway if you've got old books lying around 
that you're not really going to use you can you know tear out the pages and distress them you could use like an old like a wet tea bag to add color to them you could put coffee stains coffee rings on them and then put a quote on it tip that in that would look really nice um or you can pick up these like very 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 old books in like charity shops for a few pennies really and tear out the pages and use them in your planner as well uh, you could journal on them you could put pictures on them you can stamp on them so many different things um you can even like if you've got like shaped hole punches you could t um cut out different um hole punches um so yeah so many different things um okay i think what else have i got here number two here's another one so i was just playing with some of my watercolors on this side um and i wanted to kind of just I don't know like match the pink purple and blue so I just picked out some of my favorite washi that I have already made myself a little decorative page there and then what I was um mentioning about a top like um using like a clear piece of plastic or acetate here's one I did with stickers so these are all stickers that I received from um Coco Daisy um, some of them are so big that I just knew they're not really stickers I would use in my planner. So I just put it on a piece of, this is actually a piece of acetate, but you could just do it on, you know, one of these plastic bags or a piece of vellum if you wanted. Um, I think I do have like several of these in my planner and I know people really um, love love these the most when I do my flips here's one I did with like just word stickers again these are stickers that I'm probably not ever going to use so you could you you know you could cut out um like gift cards or um magazines like words from magazines or newspapers and make yourself something like this um yeah so many ideas these are stickers that I got in Happy Mail, but I have seen them like, you know, in the kids kind of craft section where they have like lots of really pretty stickers for, you know, like I would say like 99p or a pound, like very, very cheap. Um, but you can create a really nice dashboard by doing something like this. I just, you know, layered kind of these stickers on a piece of vellum. Um, so yeah, like definitely just check out like, the kids craft section always has really amazing things that you can add to your planner and they are always pretty cheap because they might not be the best quality um but yeah i don't know i i love doing stuff like this in my planner um what else have i got here oh here's another one as well so i think this is one of the very first ones that i did just using like quote stickers from um happy planner stickers uh added a few stars and you know just kind of filled it out a bit and i love this page it's so beautiful um this one i already showed you guys that i'm waiting to just tip into my planner at some point um so yeah just add add stickers kids stickers word stickers stickers that you might get in a sample sheet that you think oh this is not really something i would use in my planner keep it make yourself some dashboard or a top loading um pocket the other thing is like when you get happy mail and you know sometimes when people <laughs> hand letter your name i always almost always cut that out and keep it because even if it's just on white paper i just love adding it to my planner or you know just like in here i've just has helps i just have it as like in my pocket front pocket here i'm just covering up my phone number sorry um so yeah cut out things from envelopes that you might somehow you can add to your planner at some point um what else i do have a few other things in here tabs so let me just go through them um oh yeah so this is just watercolor this is like something you can do with watercolor i was just doing samples but you could like watercolor a whole page put a quote on it um what is here oh yes yeah. so 
with the Tombow brush markers or watercolors, you could make your own like um, kind of date day stickers tab things. So what I did here is I just did like a little watercolor wash in different shades of orange and yellow. And then I did put these clear stickers that I made myself over it. But if you're, you know, good at lettering, you could letter over it or you could put like a clear sticker over it. Um, yeah, but it's just a nice way of instead of just having like, you know, writing Thursday, you're actually using colour, beautiful colours to um, make your planner, you know, stand out a little bit more. Um, so I think I've done that. I did that here as well. And I got lots of questions about where my date um covers were from and it's just if i can find it now um okay maybe not it was it, i just used my um this one here tombow brush pen and then i stamped the days of the week over it but you could just write write it out but that's a very you know that's going to be something so unique to your planner because you could use different color combinations you could use watercolor or um like i said brush mark pen you could use your kids coloring in pens um and it just looks like you know it looks like they are stickers that i've bought um so yeah that's why i kind of included watercolors and brush marker pens to my essentials because there's so much you can do with them you can you know directly watercolor on the page or you can use them in like little bits and pieces like i've done here as well um instead of just putting this clear sticker on the page i kind of watercolored um behind it to add a little bit you know of extra i don't know whatever a little bit of extraness i guess um here as well i used it to do this kind of awesome memories spread um so i just watercolored different shades of set the same color and then put these clear stickers over them and that just stands out a lot more than if i had just put that sticker on there um again here <clears throat> excuse me let me just get a sip of water just using watercolors just here as well so i would say definitely for me there's so much you can do with watercolors and brush marker pens in your planner and actually you can even make watercolors from um by using this if you were to just get like a piece of plastic and like put some tombow like these ones have run out but if you put like a brush marker pen on there and you could use like a wet brush you would actually pick up color and it would work exactly like watercolors so that is that um let me see what else i have tabbed if anything else to show you guys um what's here oh yeah so this is just something i printed myself on um piece of a vellum and yeah so that's about printing on vellum and acetate um in here i have a few more things tabbed oh yeah so this is again um i printed an image on acetate and then i put like a quote on it as well myself i think this image was like a freebie from an instagram account um and then i put the quote on there myself and i know this is you know unique nobody else is going to have this because nobody else is going to have the quote in this font on this image anywhere in the world so I know we all like to, you know, like get inspiration from each other. Um, but sometimes we all end up buying from the same shop and we buy the same acetate, the same vellum, the same papers, the same stickers. We use the same notebook, you know, planner. Um, so I do like to make my planner like, you know, a little bit unique and reflective of my personality so that when I'm flipping through it, it doesn't just look like it could be anybody's planner. Um, so this is a really good way of doing that. Um, this is another way to use watercolours or like Tombow uh, mark pens. I have a video on how I created this on my monthly um, page. So I'll link that video below. But it just gives, you know, like a, a unique look because if everybody's using this same insert 
again your plan is going to end up looking similar to everybody else's so this is like one way to make it look more unique more um themed like for august you might want to use certain colors um i know i was doing that pretty much every month in this one um so not that month i didn't but here's september uh october i didn't Okay, November. I think it is my other astrology, uh, the one that's January to July. I was doing this on my monthlies every month. Um, and it's such a super, super easy technique to use. Um, do check that video out if you want to know how to do that. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. What have I got here? Oh yeah, this is just another one of those um acetates and then i this time i've put a vinyl over it again very unique to my planner um and it's like a huge creative you know outlet so you know just kind of think about layering things on top of each other um keep everything like honestly just reuse absolutely everything even things that you think well actually i might you know probably never gonna be able to use that you can tear things up and create collages you can use at least a part of something even if you can't use the whole thing um even like you know like i said like all your used sticky notes just putting them all on one page um like here just creates you know creates i think what people really like about my astrologies um whenever people kind of say oh i love you know your plan i love flip flipping through it um i think it is because i add so much stuff to it you know just add 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 um and it's not useless like this is all stuff that i've used but i'm just keeping it instead of um getting rid of it here's some more of that like watercolor page pay i had just tipped in here and then i've just layered it on top with some um phone conversations like text message conversations that i was having with my husband um so yeah even if things don't look as pretty and you think oh this is not really turned that how i wanted it to use it layer stuff on top of it just add everything add everything to your planner um and keep an eye out for all the you know free stuff that is available um i i hope i've kind of given you guys a good idea of um things that you can use in your planner that you know don't cost an arm and a leg and some of it is actually completely free um and i hope you know you'll try out some of the ideas be brave um even if something doesn't turn out how you want it to be that's okay you know there are pages and spreads in here where i feel like god i don't think i'm gonna you know go back to flipping through that section and that's fine um but yeah just add stuff to it um and use all the free stuff that is available to you guys um use your kids stuff like i said use their glues their glitters their stamps their hole punches and you'll you know you can end up creating like beautiful things like this for super super cheap um Anyway, I will stop rambling on. I hope that was helpful um, in some sense. I hope you got at least one or two ideas that you can go away and implement into your planners and make them look uniquely yours. If you do have any questions, um, please drop them in the comments section below and I will definitely get back to you guys. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.